What's up, everybody? This is Brandon again. I'm in my car driving. Uh, just left a job bid uh, for a client of mine. And uh, the reason why I wanted to make this short video is I want to pray for you guys. Uh, I'm going through a lot right now. A lot. I got three kids. They don't quite understand what's going on. Uh, I got some medical issues. And, you know, it seems like the reports I'm getting, I've just got a total of five tests back from two different types of doctors. And uh, they could be worse, but it, it, it's not, not actually the best. Uh, some of my readings after I did a detox program uh, actually got worse and uh, I don't know if you want to say being optimistic deep down in my heart my soul I feel a, I, I hear a still small voice speaking to me saying that God's going to get me through this I've gotten through it before when it comes to injuries in my body my back, uh, never thought I would actually be able to uh, exercise, things like that, but by the grace of God, uh, I came out of that, so, but, with that being said, how can I pray for you guys, and uh, I want you guys to comment below. Uh, let me know how I can pray for you, because it talks about in the Bible where two or more come together in His name. He is amongst us, and uh, and then also I want to pray here online. Uh, I want to lift up all you guys individually. I know there's someone out there going through uh, medical, physical issues trying to follow the GPS here right now. Uh, where's it taking me? Where's it taking me? Where's it taking me? It's on my phone. Uh, let me see. Alrighty. So, okay, let me get back to this. But, I know you guys, there's someone out there, and I know it's more than just one person, but you're dealing with medical things like I am feel like you're alone and you know we have the right to feel that way because you know we we're in our minds we we, we drive we, we go to the bathroom we, we sleep you know we wake up all these things we feel alone you know and even when we're with people sometimes when you're going with these problems these trials and tribulations we can fit feel, feel alone but I just really want to remind you when it is at its darkest time, uh, that's when God shows up. That's when He's always showed up for me. And so, keep on holding on. Keep on holding on. I'm going to keep on holding on, so I'm there with you guys. And uh, so, let me pray for you, that person who's struggling physically right now. Uh, and then I'm going to go on to someone else who'll be struggling spiritually. Uh, with uh, uh, emotional or mental um, warfare. But, Heavenly Father, I just ask in the name of Jesus. I don't want to close my eyes and drive it. But, God, I want to lift you up. I want to lift up that man, that woman. You know who you are. Uh, I ask in the name of Jesus Christ, Father, that you would heal them, that you would redeem them, you would redeem their story, Father, that uh, that you would come over them with the blood of Christ, God, that you would speak to their soul, that you would give them a peace that surpasses all understanding. Uh, I pray that uh, they would get a good report, Father, within the next month, and uh, they would hear good news, Lord God that uh, the situation that they're in, it seems like there's no hope. There's always hope. 
the seasons always change, Lord God. Uh, so I pray for, for redemption in this. I pray that you would push back the enemy's plans of destroying our lives physically, mentally, spiritually, emotionally. He's trying to uh, kill our joy, <clears throat> taking away our health and kill our joy. He's trying to kill our relationships. Father, I rebuke that in the name of Jesus Christ. We come against you in the authority of Jesus, Lord. God, smash on the head of the serpent, Lord. I just pray that you would uh, cover my brother, you would cover my sister with your grace and your peace and your healing and your covering. And I pray that you grant them all the wisdom that they need. Grant them with favor with people, uh, with their family, especially, Lord God, that they would see the situation that they're going through and they would have empathy, sympathy, understanding, and clarity. I pray that you would give us a sound mind, give them a sound mind, the people that are with us. And if we feel like there's no one around us and no one with us, I pray that you would bring someone there to walk alongside of us physically, Lord. Because we know you're there, but I pray that someone physically would walk alongside of us. And uh, I ask for your blessing over them, Lord. In the name of Jesus. God, I also want to lift up that individual who's struggling right now with the mental warfare. I've been there and done that. I've had... Uh, panic attacks for years, uh, spiritual warfare. When I went to Africa, before I went to Africa, horrible panic attacks. I felt like there was demons around me. They didn't want me to go. When I was there, I was having nightmares. I, I broke down crying, sobbing on this mission trip. Uh, I was being physically attacked. And then even for two years after this mission trip, I was struggling and battling. It was a changing changing point in my life where I really I had to put my trust in God you know I really had to dig deep and put my heels in and trust God and I had to walk by faith and not by sight and right now the enemy is trying to close into our minds you know he tries to attack our minds so he can attack our, our, our thoughts and our thoughts can control our body sometimes but every time but so I pray, Lord God, that we would be still and know that you are God. And I pray we would be silent, we would be slow to speak and quick to listen. But we would also be quick to speak to you and to ask for favor and show your grace upon us. Help us to speak up. Some individual in my life told me that when I was a young man, before I was a Christian, he told me, a closed mouth never gets fed. And uh, I believe we need to speak to God. We need to ask him. It says, if you seek, you will find. If you knock, the door will be open. And uh, just knock. And keep on knocking. Because one day, hopefully sooner than later, God's going to hear that. And he heard it already. It's not like he never heard it. Sometimes there's things that are pushing our prayers back. Sometimes we don't always get what we pray for either. And sometimes that's a blessing. There's a plenty of times I've prayed where I'm so glad that I didn't get it because it was praying out of selfishness it wasn't out of necessarily God's will for my for my life but I pray that this peace would surpass my brothers and sisters over their minds who are being attacked emotionally mentally spiritually cover them father I pray that you would give them the optimal tools listening to your word uh, to the Bible app new version or listening to inspirational quotes or uh, good teaching, wise teaching uh, online. There's plenty of pastors out there. I'm not going to speak any names or name any names. Uh, there's plenty out there and there's plenty of false guys out there out there to deceive people. But I pray that you would give my brothers and sisters a sound mind, a clarity, of knowing what voices to listen to and which ones not to listen to and rid them of toxicity in their life and that's spiritually, mentally, emotionally and uh, those in our relationships and those that are speaking to our ears that are just giving us crappy advice I pray that you would rebuke that and you would cover us Lord and have mercy on us in the name of Jesus. I also want to pray for my brothers and sisters that are dealing financially. Uh, we're going to combine these financially and relationally, Lord. I want to bind up the enemy right now. 
we come against you in the name of Jesus. We come against you in the name of Jesus and authority of God to bind up the enemy that's attacking our finances and are attacking our vision and our dreams and our hopes and the things that we had when we were little kids that we wanted to be. We were little kids. We had dreams and hopes. I wanted to be a football player. I want to be a doctor. I want to be an astronaut. And our dreams tend to be destroyed from, from all the stuff that goes on in life. The hurts and the habits and the hang-ups and the priorities and uh, you know having to work to provide for a family. And, and we tend to push our dreams away. God, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you would give us back our dreams. You would give us back our visions. And you would give us a vision. Uh, we need to have a vision. We need to have priorities. We need to have a focus. <clears throat> but we need to have something that we can actually obtain. Something, a goal in mind. And uh, so I pray that you would push back the enemy, Lord. And that we would be able to have these goals and dreams in mind. And to be able to still provide for our families. Uh, and do things that we love. We don't have to be in a dead-end job that's just killing us. Uh, it's absolutely killing us. It's killing our our confidence. It's killing our our self-esteem. It's it's we're out there grinding and doing this thing that we absolutely despise and hate, and dislike, and that sucks. I've been there, and even at this point right now. I'm going through a trial right now. And I feel like at this point, it's so hard for me to physically do my job. And I need your vision. I, I need your healing. But I also need your vision to get me through to the next journey that you're putting me on. So there's things that have been planted in my life that have been allowed by you, Lord. But now you need to give me all the capabilities, the abilities. And you need to give me the tools. Father, give us the tools to get us to that next point, that next hurdle, that next stage. It says, where you send, you'll supply. Where you lead, you'll supply all needs. So, God, give us those things. Give us those tools. Grant us our dreams. Help us to get out of the jobs that we don't want to be in. But let us be wise as a serpent and is innocent as a dove and show, let, show us favor in the eyes of man and of you and let us walk in integrity when we do these things let us step out in faith and when we do fail we're not failures because there's no way there is no way to, uh, to step out in faith without sometimes failing because uh, look at all the the greats, people that have actually done great things, whether they're pastors or uh, apostles or, or uh, great entrepreneurs and those who, uh, we'll just say millionaires, even those types of individuals, uh, sports athletes, for examples, they've tried and tried and tried, tried and tried and tried, and sometimes they failed and failed and failed. Look at my, Michael Jordan. Look at uh, Kobe. Look at these guys who shot and lost games. And shot hoops and lost. And missed points. And missed three-pointers. But they tried and they got up again. And they tried and got up again. They didn't give up. And they grinded. God, right now, we need you to grind for us. We need you to give us the perseverance to grind. And uh, not only to grind, but to dig deep into you. And <clears throat> to cut away to the things in our life that are not prosperous, things that are drawing us away from you, whether that's relationships, whether that's a toxic job, whether that's toxic food that we're eating, because a lot of us, you know, I've been there, done that, whether it's alcohol that's causing us to set, that's setting us back, drugs, whether it's even over the counter or not. Uh, those things can set us back. It can set us back days, weeks, months, decades. And they can push back God's blessings. And we don't need those things in our life. We don't need the distractions of our mind. Uh, those those spirits. You know, there's a reason why they call it uh, wine and spirits. There's a spirit. Uh, it's not. I'm not saying it's bad to drink. But it's, 
it's not it's not it's not good to get drunk. We don't need to be cloudy. We need to have a vision. We need to be focused. So I pray that you give us a, fo a, a, a focus and uh, you bring back that first love that we once once had, and that for those who are out there right now that uh, who haven't known you, who haven't given their lives to you, God in the name of Jesus. Uh, <clears throat> I pray, Lord God, that you would draw them to you. That they would draw to you. That they would give their lives to you, Lord God. That it takes one simple act of faith. One small seed. It says that we only have to have a faith as small as a mustard seed. And uh, I know, God, you will meet us. Uh, so I pray that uh, you provide for our needs, Lord God. You would cover them. Would cover us, would cover our family, you would heal us and protect us. I'm ramping, I'm going in multiple different places. But you guys actually get to hear my prayer life when I'm praying with a friend or something. I just go off. But, and I said this was going to be a short video, and I don't know if you guys were able to hear me on this Bluetooth. I'm driving to go see a good friend right now. He called me. I was actually thinking about him before I actually uh, went to this uh, job prior before I just made this video and I was looking at my phone looking at something else my mind was going in a different place and I was thinking about this guy and uh, he ended up calling me he was like hey man I was just reflecting and I'm like I'm so glad you called brother because I was thinking about you it's kind of a God thing uh, so I'm about to go out to him hopefully we can encourage each other uh, share some ideas I got some visions Hopefully we can, you know, just fast in uh, the relationships that people can have with one another that are healthy, that build each other up. And uh, if you want those types of relationships in your life that you can build up, build, that it's not tearing down. So when you leave that person, you're not you're not feeling drained, but you're actually feeling built up. So uh, let me finish his prayer. God, we thank you for hearing our prayers. We pray that you would answer these prayers. We know that you're going to answer these prayers. And I pray that you give my, you give your peace to my brothers and sisters. And I pray that you save my brothers and my sisters out there that who are, who haven't given their life fully committed to you. The days are short. It says if you hear my voice, uh, if you hear my voice, listen to it, receive. What, what I'm what I'm saying and uh, because the time is short uh, and we're not going to always have today you know so in the name of Jesus amen my grandfather used to tell me one thing before he passed this was some years ago back in 2005 it's so like 15 years ago but uh, there's a couple quotes he used to say but he said Brandon and he was a man's man. He was. I mean, he was like a dad to me. He always took me in. He helped me out. He came to my school when when, uh, when my dad didn't come to school. He picked me up from friends' houses late at night and when I was in trouble and things like that. But he used to tell me, Brandon, uh, it's better to believe. It's better to have believed in Jesus and God and the scriptures and one day be wrong to not to believe and then be wrong. So if you're understanding what I'm saying, have faith because it might be too late when you die. You know, it might be too late on your on your deathbed. So it's better to believe now. And if you're wrong, what you get to experience a life full of thinking that there's a God, knowing that there's a Jesus, knowing that He died on the cross and He wants to have a personal relationship with you, thinking all these things. It's not blind faith. There's so much science and archaeology and facts behind it. It's it's ridiculous. There's only one thing I know in life. There's only one thing I could bet my my life on, period, anything on, is that Jesus is in heaven. He's seated at the right hand of the Father of Majesty. Right now, right next to him. And then he died on the cross for me and for you 
for, for my for my family. And that if we believe in him, we'll be saved. And it's the only thing I'll put my faith in. The only thing. I don't even believe that the sun will come up every day. I don't believe in taxes, none of that. I don't even believe that I'm going to die, as in there are some guys that didn't die, that they went straight to heaven if you look in the scriptures. Um, I'm not saying that's the case. But what I'm saying is it's important. It's important that we put our faith in God, most important at all. More than anything. So, I love everybody out there. And I'm on a journey. And uh, so are you guys. If you guys got anything out of this, I'm, I'm just going, I'm going blah, blah, blah. But I'm being real. There's no edits on this. I'm not editing. So if you guys like this video, if you like that I'm not editing, like 99.9% .9 people out there that edit every single video, you'll see that there's no jumps and there's no lags of the video. So just being real with the GPS running so I can find my destination. And it's a rainy day here out in Minnesota. And it is 12.49 p.m. So take it easy, everybody. God bless. Peace.